Yeah, I spoke to Laura uh, about, say, one, two hours after the race. Um, she was a bit grumpy, actually, because mum and dad wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't ring her back. Um, and she was trying to work out if she could see them or if she couldn't see them. And we just spoke at random things, just, you know, that she didn't feel so good, but even though she was riding absolutely incredibly, that her stomach was bad and that she was going to go and eat a hundred McDonald's after the race. How would I describe Laura? You know, she's like a pain that you would never want to go away. Like, she's my sister, so I've you kind of got to say that. But she's bubbly, she's always there for you, she's got a good heart, you know, and she does work hard. She had a horrible start to life and I mean, I was too young to really understand the full, the full context of what was happening, but is she lucky to be alive? Probably. Did she fight through? Yep. And has she had many other fights to go through over the years? Definitely. But she's always come out on top. Laura doesn't know boundaries, so she will just keep going. And as long as she's winning bike races, she's, she's happy. But you know, Olympics are such stress. I think it's important that her and Jason wind down with the dogs and they just, you know, try and go back to some normality. Life won't be normal for a while, but it's important that they try and do that. But it's not just Laura that sacrifices. And I suppose that's why Laura and Jason work is because they understand it. It's very, it would be very difficult to date somebody who didn't understand the world of cycling or the world of being an athlete because the sacrifices you have to make are absolutely huge. Ignition. If you don't represent women in politics,